In today's free Madden School.com tip, we're going to continue building on our uh, pistol week scheme out of the Carolina Panthers offensive playbook. Uh, we already have three plays at this point. We have a screen pass, a running play, and a passing play. So ideally, we probably want one more passing play to even out the scheme. Then we'll have four plays. Uh, you know, we'll have four quick audibles. You can go into uh, your playbook and set your four quick audibles to these four plays. And then just based on the situation and what the defense is in, you can audible to whatever you think is the right call at that point. So today's play is the pistol week formation, and the play is called uh, PA option pass. And we'll go ahead and run it against random defenses. The setup is very simple. Put your Y running back on an option route, and then put your A tight end on a smart routed in route. That's all you have to do. Uh, now, there are two different sets of reads. In man-to-man -man defense, you'll look first to your Y running back. He'll always be open against man. Uh, you'll lead the pass towards the sideline and then just cut it upfield. If for some random reason he's covered, maybe the guy's user controlling uh, the guy that's on the running back, then you'll hit your A tight end on the uh, extended in route. He'll always be open as well against man-to-man -man defense. Now, if it's zone defense, the read becomes a little bit harder, but not all that hard, really. Um... As your Y running back breaks, uh, right before he breaks out to the sideline, uh, against zone, he'll sit down in the middle of the zone. There'll generally be a defender there. That's about the, in this particular play, it's about the 25 yard line on the left hash mark. Um, that's about five yards from the line of scrimmage. There'll be a, a defender in a yellow zone there. And so he will either come up and defend that Y running back, and then you'll throw over the top to your X receiver on the post, or he'll drop back on that post, and then you'll throw underneath to your Y running back. It's really pretty simple, but it does take a little bit of getting used to and reading a defender. If for some reason they're both covered, your RB running back in the flat will always be open in that se in that scenario, so uh, look to him and, and don't forget about him. So I'll run it through a couple times here, and you can see how it goes. That time looked like man-to-man -man defense. You can see both our A tight end and our Y running back were open there. This is how the play should look right before you run it. The guy just sits down in the zone. Uh, if he's open, you can throw it. If he's not, look to your X receiver in zone. This is how the play should look again. That time the guy came up, uh, I guess we just overthrew him, but you can see how he was open. You can see we actually had our choice of three receivers there. Um, both our A receiver, our Y receiver, and our X receiver were open. One final time here. Again, put your Y running back on an option route, your A tight end on a smart routed in route. That's all you have to do. That time we made the wrong read, but we still almost caught it. Oh, so we're on one more time. Uh, we should have hit the running back there, but I, I wasn't paying attention and I uh, made the wrong read. That time we hit our running back. So if you're enjoying our tips, make sure to like and subscribe. We will get back to uh, individual comments probably tomorrow, if not tomorrow, then the next day. So go ahead and leave your comments uh, in the comment section of both Madden School and YouTube. Uh, you know, tell us what you want to see. That's that's our main goal here. Um, so until tomorrow, take care.